I've been a professional BMX racer for about four years. Um, I started racing when I was 13, so yeah, it's been really, really successful so far. Well, my race number pretty much comes from when I won my first world title in 2005. I was number one in 05, so that's what it stands for. I take my sport really seriously and everything I do, I try to do as a professional. And I think, you know, the first step of that is protecting yourself and protecting your livelihood. Um, when I had my accident, I was going about 45 kilometers per hour. It was the end of the session and you know everything was going good until that point. I went straight over the bars when it happened, um, landed on my head and you know broke two vertebrae in my neck and was unconscious until the medics arrived and you know was moved to hospital. Because I landed on, on you know upside down, it took a lot of the pressure and you know the impact went through the helmet and it broke so that could have been way worse. I could have been in a wheelchair or even dead. I think, you know, going forward it's a big step for me and, um, you know, for the face of extreme sports and BMX in particular that there is something out there for us that protects our necks and protects our well-being and, you know, our daily bread. You know, long term I'm looking at qualifying for the Olympics in 2012 in London, looking at coming strong next year and, you know, having a clean, clean season, win the world title and then, you know, see how I go. For next season I clearly see myself riding with a Liat neck brace and, you know, hopefully it will it, it will change the face of protection in the sport.